When you play the Game of Thrones, you subscribe and like. Or you die. There is no middle ground. All right, hello YouTube. So we're back on the Grease Goblins channel. Um, we're doing Sansa Stark today, and this video is also brought to you by the comments, so that will be up there. If you want me to do any characters, let me know. I will try my best to get them done. And yeah. Also, if you guys wanted to follow the Twitter or Instagram page for the channel and discuss in depth more of these theories, uh, you can follow those. Those are, will be in the description. And also subscribe and like if you want to see more content from me. I've been pumping out probably five videos a week at 7 p.m. So, yeah. All right, getting into this video, this video is very much going to be very similar to the Littlefinger video I did because. These characters, for me, are intertwined for at least this book. Uh, for Winds of Winter, I think they're very much intertwined because of what Littlefinger is saying his plan is. Because his plan is they're going to dispose of Robert Aaron, and then they're going to look to marry Sansa to Harry the Heir. Now, I have problems with this because from Littlefinger's point of view, this doesn't make any sense. Littlefinger is losing power doing this because right now, Littlefinger, all of his power runs through Robert Aaron in the Vale. Anyway, in the Vale. Because he is Lord Protector. He basically married, you know, Lysa. And if Robert Aaron was to die, yes, the power would then go to Harry the Heir. And if Sansa was to marry him, well... He would still lose all of his power because the, the plan would be to reveal Sansa as being Sansa to make it, you know, a good match uh, for Harry the Air. But then Littlefinger has almost no claim to power here. At any point, if Sansa wants to flip on him, then she can and he can't do anything about it. So I don't really get that. And also, I don't know why Littlefinger would just straight up tell Sansa his entire plan. So what I think is interesting and could be more likely is that also i wanted to say littlefinger also has a romantic interest in sansa so why would he give her away i don't know i i'm not certain on that but i could see an area where littlefinger actually kills harry the heir so that doesn't happen and robert aaron like continues to be in power and that whole plan gets blown up uh I feel like this could be some sort of thing where Littlefinger's just kind of lying to her to just gain more of her trust. And I think this entire book with Sansa's character is going to be her kind of figuring out who Littlefinger really is in the stuff he's done in the past towards her family, her, and eventually leading to the downfall of Littlefinger. Now, this would come one of two ways because I think Sansa... One way or another, with Littlefinger's help, they'll gain control of the veil. Either that's through Robert Aaron, or let's say they go through it with this plan. She marries Harry the Air. Which, again, is kind of interesting because would Harry the Air's like, family want him to marry Sansa? Because technically, Sansa is still married to Tyrion, even though it wasn't consummated. But nobody there knows that. There's not really any proof. Um. Really, they're just going off of Sansa and Littlefinger's word, which we see how that goes a lot of the times. So, again, it's kind of an interesting situation. Um, it's also why we see Littlefinger do a lot of things against the Lannisters, because he wants to see them pretty much fall and any of their validation and all that gone so that Sansa is free to remarry. But it's interesting. I, I personally think that... Robert Aaron is the way that they're going to still have power. I think that they will end up going north. If they don't go north, I could also see them, or Littlefinger at least, trying to get Sansa to marry Aegon or Fagon. I think at this point, Fagon is going to be at least hooking up with Ariane. Um, I just think that makes a lot more sense. She's already there. Uh, Ariane is a really good at seducing men, as we've seen. So, and you know, just manipulating so i think she'll find her way into that type of situation where she's basically the queen and that's how dorn gets involved in this uh too bad they're probably gonna pick the wrong well at this point targaryen but maybe blackfire because eventually danny's gonna come by and they're gonna be like oh we didn't do so good there 
even though I like Fagon, I think he's going to be a good king for the short amount of time. He probably will take King's Landing. That's for another video. If you guys want to see that video, I did, it is one of the first Song of Ice and Fire videos I did. So if you want to go back and see that, you know, it'll be there. But I could see that happening as well because Littlefinger, you're looking at that going, okay, he could get way more power here if he brings the veil to the cause of Fagon and just currying, or currying favor uh, from Fagon. Or Aegon, whichever. But I do think it's probably more likely they head up north uh, with the Vale forces. And somewhat similar to the show, we see some sort of event, whether that's Bran uh, coming back and telling them all the things Littlefinger's done and Littlefinger eventually just dying. Or if it's just Sansa figuring it out herself. Because I think Sansa in the end is going to be the one that takes down Littlefinger. He's always, or she's always been Littlefinger's kryptonite. And that even leads back to Catelyn. Um, because we see sometimes where he just makes bad decisions, uh, like in Renly's camp where basically he's like, oh yeah, we can get back together and stuff when obviously, or we can, you know, get together cause Ned's not there anymore. Eh, I always been kind of his kryptonite and I think it will end up playing out that way that Sansa eventually does take him down. Uh, either way, looking at where Sansa goes, I think eventually she makes her way north. Um, even if the Fagon thing, you know, happens, I think she eventually goes up north where I think she actually plays a similar role as she did in the show where she will take basically the command of the north, uh, because the thing is Rickon is still alive in the, the books. Uh, a lot of people have a lot of great theories for him and I think he will, I've kind of been changed. My mind's been changed on what I think is going to happen with Rickon. Um, I think a lot of people have commented that yes, he probably will come back, but he's going to be a very wild kid. I mean, you got to think he was already pretty wild, and now he's been out with the Skagosi the whole time. Maybe we have this Skagosi force that comes back. I think Rickon dies, or just maybe he comes the Wild Stark, you know? Like, he like he starts a new tribe or something, something crazy. I don't think Rickon is going to be the one that's in charge of Winterfell. I think Cersei, or not Cersei, uh, Sansa has had the story that's kind of building up to her rolling, um, being close to Cersei, playing the game with Littlefinger, all these things. I think eventually she will end up being the one that rolls in the north because Bran, again, isn't going to want it, but who knows? And George R. R. Martin, it is kind of a thing that I think could happen with Bran being king. It seems like a very George R. R. Martin thing to do. And I think it'd be way more ominous in the books if that does happen with the three-eyed, you know, stuff, all of that with Blood Raven and all that, that actually the children of the forest could be actually running the kingdom and all that stuff, which I think could be really cool. But they didn't really do that in the show, really. I mean, it wasn't really that big of a thing. But I could definitely see it happening. So that kind of leaves Sansa to rule the north unless Jon goes back. But at this point, Jon, in my opinion, will be made a Targaryen or is a Targaryen at this point. And I don't know how that's going to go, but uh, I do think in the end, Sansa kind of has a similar ending to the show, where she's kind of the ruler of the North. But what I think is interesting is, if George tries to do this thing where the North is independent and all that, how is that going to work? Because in the show, it didn't make any sense. The show, she just basically asked Bran, and Bran's like, yes, and nobody has any problems with it. That's definitely not going to happen. It's, I don't know, it's gonna, it's gotta be something where Sansa has some sort of leverage where she can get out of it, or something like that. Maybe she's basically like, well, the North fought the big battle, we deserve to be freed, or something like that, I don't know. Somehow, though, I think that might happen, that they become independent, because it's been a common reoccurring theme where we're constantly reminded that the Starks were independent at one point, where Rob breaks off. Uh, from, you know, basically Joffrey and the rest of the kingdoms. We keep seeing that reoccurring theme, and that could be something that happens. Um, not sure, but it could. And will Sansa remarry? And I'm talking about <clears throat> after Harry the Air, if that happens. I don't think so. Um, she might, though, because... See, in the show, they gave her Joffrey and Ramsay, and Joffrey she didn't marry, but she was, like, Kind of supposed to. And then she married Tyrion, which... 
I mean, that was actually a good relationship for her, but Tyrion is not a great looking lad, so Sansa didn't like him. But will she remarry? I don't think so. Or maybe it'll take her a while. Um, where she just she's like done with men for a little while and then maybe to like bridge some alliances and she has to make heirs for House Stark, basically. Maybe could happen. Maybe she like marries a one of the northern houses or takes somebody else. Maybe she even sticks with the veil or something. Who knows? But let me know what you guys think for Sansa. I think she's not one of my favorite characters personally. I've never really liked Sansa as a character. But I don't know. She she, she grows on you, I guess. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you've got any other grand theories that you want to you know say in the comments, by all means. And I will see you guys all in the next video. And bye, guys.